YouTube. This is MT Shark Seven here. Right now, um, I'm doing a quick video with a tip on how to desolder IC chips on a circuit board that has, on the opposite side, has the bent the pins bent in. One of those focuses. As you can sort of tell, that, and what I'm doing, I'm replacing the. Uh, the IC chips that control both controller ports on a ColecoVision. And last time I tried desoldering, I ended up breaking some of these traces along the board as well as on the opposite side. So, what I decided to do is I simply use one of these small flathead screwdrivers. You can get them anywhere. I got this set at Radio Shack. And take the smallest flathead. And what I've been doing, I started it, but. I've been prying off these legs and just breaking them off of the, the chip itself. And that way, once I got the legs off and the chip removed, just the legs will be there. So what I'll do then is I'll use these cutters here just to I'll go around and cut and make them flush on the board. Then what I'll do, I'll, I'll heat up the other side and then the, the bent leg on the opposite side should fall off since it's not hooked on to anything. It's not connected to the IC chip because that'll be broken off. So let me show, I'm going to try and do this with the camera here. So what you do, you just carefully go in here and break off this leg. Oop, see? Break it off keep going down break them off Ooh. I'm gonna pause this video and finish them okay I'm back and as you can see I broke off the chips and hopefully this thing decides to focus. Come on. You can see I left the legs. Some legs are sticking out over here. But, good news is I didn't break any trace doing it. Kind of, uh, butchered it, as you can see. You know where, yeah, there's the other chip, and here's all the mess that I made. So then the next step is to go around with these little snippers go around and break off the excess leg let's keep doing that Right, no, 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 no. Go on to the next step. Oh. Okay, I'm back again. As you can see, I cut all the extra legs off of the board. Made them as flush as I possibly could. And what I've been starting to do is I lift up the board and I go with the soldering iron and I just basically just melt each soldering point and try and push with the end of the tip there just push it the rest of the leg all the way try and push it all the way through the hole and hopefully if it's hot enough it should just pop out on the other side and hopefully you'll end up with a hole and you don't end up having to heat this up and rebend these pins straight to pull the legs through they should automatically fall out so I'm gonna give that a shot and see how it goes hey so I'm back actually a better way is what I did is I flipped the board upside down and then you can see where am I at here and you can see this part whatever focuses again this part 
I just push the these pins in. See how they're hooked? And they're they're really a pain in the ass to desolder. But I think doing it this way is a lot e lot easier so far. So I just pretty much just heat the soldering node and just push the pin through. So let me see if I can give an example without fucking this thing up. Let me try and angle this. Shit. Focus, you piece of shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, my arm doesn't fucking move. So you just pretty much just heat it up and just poke the legs right on through there. And doing this saves you a lot of aggravation. I know one's a pain in the ass. But as you can see, you can look at my progress. See, like these, these ones right here I pushed in. These ones I still gotta push in. And these ones are the real pain in the ass. You can see how bent they are. And there's no way to desolder it because if it's bent like this, there's solder under where it's bent at. And there's no way to suck up that solder because it's just stuck. And as you go to like pry them off, you actually break off these traces along the board which I've done that the first time so I came up with this method to hopefully not have to deal with that and well and I mean all, all is not lost if you say if you break like one of these traces basically just have to solder a thin wire to that node and then just follow it all the way to wherever it ends up and then solder the wire there and it fixes the that uh, trace. All right, so let me try and finish this, and hopefully it'll end up the way I want it to. All right, so I'm back. I'm, I didn't finish it yet, but I came up with a, another thing. I realized is what I did is I've been pushing these these legs all the way through here, and some of them they will just like still be soldered. They won't come out and they're still be stuck there. So what I use is a, my soldering sucker. When I go on and I, I'll heat up the node and I'll just de suck it up and then there you go. What happens is the leg falls off and the rest of the solder just sucks up into the vacuum here. So that's another thing I'm going to do to hopefully try to avoid not breaking any of these traces while desoldering these chips. And this is also helpful for not only doing the ColecoVision repair, but also with other chips that are hard socketed onto the board. Say for example the CDI Timekeeper chip replacement. You can just desolder the chip during the method I have taught is pretty much annihilating the chip, just to get the chip out of the way, and then just cutting the legs flush to the circuit board, and then using the soldering iron to push them through the hole. Especially, I mean, it especially works, especially when uh, these legs are bent like this. It's really hard to, and a pain in the ass to desolder that way. So I hope this helps. I'm going to continue and finish and Okay, so I finally finished desoldering one of the chips completely. Oh crap, uh, Except for that little part, I'll redo that. But another trick I found was once I got the legs through the hole 
it was it was still stuck there because of the solder on the other side. So what I would do, another tip that I figured out is, you get the soldering iron, and you push it into the hole like this, and you vibrate like that, and then that would cause the loose pin to drop down. And then you could use continue using the solder desocker to soak up the rest of the solder, and there you go. It's ready to uh, install the IC socket. And that's a tip on doing the hardest part of this mod and any other mod that you're trying to replace IC chips. It's always best to, if you can, find the IC socket so that if the chip ever breaks ever again, you can just pop it out and then put in a new one. Oh, this damn thing keeps going out of focus. Oh, what am I going to do? Alright, so that's pretty much it for my soldering tips. Thank you for watching, and if you want to, subscribe to useless, other useless shit I put on here. Take it easy. MT Shark 7 out.